Hello, hello, welcome to the Happy Hippie Intuitive. This is Nina and I'm here to do your weekly reading. So this is going to be from the 20th to the 26th of February. So before we get into the reading, I would like to remind you these readings are general. Take what resonates, leave the rest. I put all the cards I use below in the description so you can find them there together with timestamps so you quick and easy can jump straight to your reading once you made your pick. Now, let's get to this reading for this week. So you have three decks to choose from, as always. On number one today, we have a deck called the Transient Light Tarot. On number two, you have a deck called the Tarot. <laughs> and on number three, you have the OK Tarot. So feel into your intuition. Ask your angels and guides to guide you to pick either number one, two, or three. Pause the video if you need more time. I'll be back in a moment, and I'll start with number one. Removing number three and number two. Okay, number one. So if you pick the Transient Light Tarot by Ari Wisner, then this is your reading. So we will shuffle these cards a little bit. And we will choose our pull, actually, six cards for your weekly reading. And these readings are about energy, okay? It's about what kind of energies you might bump up against this coming week. And then we ask Spirit for their advice on how to maneuver those energies. Okay, so it might be regarding energies that you have already been in or are already feeling, or it might be energies that's coming towards you. So take that as it resonates, people. Okay, a little bit hard to shuffle. <laughs> okay, a little bit overhand shuffle here before we choose. Okay. You got the crown of wands, which is the king of wands. The Four of Coins, the Wheel of Fortune, the Sun, wow, beautiful, beautiful cards here so far, the Defender, which is the uh, Emperor, and Champion of Wands, which is Knight of Wands. Beautiful energy here. Underneath, six of coins, six of pentacles. Okay. Now, I feel like, I mean, overall, this is very nice energy, I have to say. So the only thing I could say if we should address uh, a situation first that might be going on is the Four of Pentacles here. The Four of Pentacles is where we are holding on something. It might be that we're holding back, holding on uh, for dear life to something that we feel we need. Uh, it might also be if it's regarding money that you are... Uh, not spending so much right now or maybe being invited to not spend so much you know hold back on spending uh, but you know pentacles isn't only money it's about the ground pillars in life which is about uh, work it can be uh, your health uh, you know it can be your home of course your money situation whatever kind of uh, the ground pillars that you need in order to stay alive kind of you know that's the thing it's the earth element so it can be that there is something happening in your situation where you're feeling like I have to hold back, I can't overspend or, um, you know, I want to hold on to what I have. But in some cases, it might be an invitation, as I said, from spirit to let go of something, not to hold back anymore. So we'll see where this goes a little bit. You have the, um, uh, oh, I was about to say Hierophant, but it isn't. It's the Emperor, of course. Number four, the Defender, it's called in this deck. Now, the, it's called the Defender because it's where you kind of stand tall. You stand in, in your power. You step into your power. So there might be that you are in need of um, holding your power back. Maybe you're giving too much in a situation. So maybe you're invited to hold back your energy and stand strong in you. So that might be for, for some of you. Uh, for others of you, this can be a representative for someone who is very strong-headed, for someone who is very strong in their power. In other words, this is not you. Um, so it can be... Um, just a minute, I just had to uh, look at something here. It can be someone who is very stubborn as well, okay? It, it can be someone who is uh, standing maybe a little bit too strong, maybe holding on 
too much to something. So, so this can be another person as well. So take that as it resonates. I just need some water, just a second. Oh, I just all of a sudden got very dry uh, in my mouth. Anyways, okay. So, but you know, the, the other cards around here seems very good. I mean, the, the, the champion of wands is of course the knight of wands. That's someone who comes in with passion. Um, it, it's some, it, it's very action, it's very energy moving. And the Wheel of Fortune is, of course, it can be fortune, as in money, but it can also be a luck card. It can be where things tip in your favor, but it can also mean destiny, something is destined to happen. The Six of Coins over here is give and take, it's the balance of giving and receiving. You know, on, on the original tarot, you see a rich man giving money to the poor. And it can be that you are the person invited to give, or you can be the one who is feeling like I have to beg for something to get. So it's a, it's a balance of give and take. So you have to feel into where you are, which one of those are you, right? So it can be someone who is very um, holding on to their money. You know, it, it, could, it could be an ancestor holding on to their money, not, and you feel like you have to go and ask all the time. Or if you are in a relationship and the other person makes more money than you, it could be that you feel like you always have to go and ask. So that might be a situation for some of you, right? Uh, but it can be energetic-wise, meaning where is your balance in giving and receiving your energy, okay? Now over here you have the crown of wands and together with the sun. So that for me is, of course, very, very positive. It's someone who is in, um, you know, that is following their passion, who is... They have the energy, they are the forward movement, you know, uh, they are moving forward in joy and focusing on that. And, and the sun, of course, being the most positive card in the deck, meaning things will go well. So I feel like whatever is going on here, number one, I don't think it's severe. I don't think it's um, something that's going to tip you off, you know, in a big way. But of course, there might be something where you feel like someone is holding on to a grudge. Maybe someone is holding on to being stubborn, whether it be you or another person. Uh, but, and it could be that, you know, there's an imbalance in giving and receiving love, giving and receiving energy. It could be giving and receiving money. It could be that you feel like you're not you know, earning enough at work, this might be a boss, you know, kind of holding back, not wanting to give you what you feel like you deserve, stuff like that. But I feel like with these cards and these cards here, whatever this situation is, uh, I feel like it's going to be resolved, okay? Um, the, it's, the wheel is going to tip in your favor when you have the crown of wands, uh, the king of wands, and the sun and the champion or knight of wands here. I feel like it's going to tip in your favor. So let us pull some oracle cards on that. No, it is not yet time. This is not the divine right time to take action. Please be patient. The opportune moment is approaching. So what they're saying with that is that you don't really need to do anything in this situation. They, they've got you, you know, it's destined to happen. So if you are in a situation, for instance, where you're kind of fighting uh, with your boss on um, maybe getting a raise or, or uh, getting a project or getting more responsibility or... Uh, or this doesn't have to be work-related. It can be, of course, in, in, a, in a relationship or a family relation, whatever this is. It's, they're saying here that you don't actually need to do anything. Uh, if you can step back, hold back, then maybe you should just observe what's happening and it will tip in your favor. Let's see another card. Change is coming. I'm here to guide you through this exciting transformation. This is a time of joyous opportunities. So again, the change will come. But you don't have to do anything, okay? Prioritize self-care instead. You do so much for others. It's time for you to experience the love you deserve and let others help you. So that might be why this card popped up. Maybe there's an imbalance in you given and uh, give and take, meaning you give too much and you don't give to yourself. So they're saying leave this be because it will be, uh, it's divinely guided and it will tip in your favor. They've got this. The change is coming. All you have to do is prioritize yourself, prioritize self-care. 
underneath you have get your power back. You have forgotten who you are. You are a child of the divine, so take back your power, like here, right? Stepping into your power, stepping into uh, I'm going to take care of me. I'm going to, uh, you know, nourish myself and do whatever I want. Everybody else can do whatever they want and, and just be in that energy. And then things will be resolved. That's what I feel. Okay. So let's see here what charms you get this week. Now you have a love and a moon here. Uh, okay. I'm feeling a full moon or around the full moon that something is going to change. Take that as it resonates. I believe the next full moon is, let me just check my calendar here next to me. Let's see. That's not this week. It might be the new moon also. It could be also the new moon uh, that's coming on, on Monday. But the next full moon is the 7th of March, just to have that said. So maybe in between the new moon and the full moon that a change is going to come. So this or next week, uh, I would say. Okay. You have a star here, which is, of course, a lucky symbol. Wishing upon a star. You have the letter S. So S might be someone in your vicinity. It might be you, S in the name. You have an apple here. An apple for me is, of course, uh, healthy eating. It's, of course, uh, you know, um, I get a tooth with it, too. Maybe someone took a bite of an apple and broke a tooth. <laughs> I don't know. Ah. Anyways, no, um, it, it can be healthy eating, taking care of you, like prior to self-care. But the apple is also, you know, that old cliche where that child brings an apple to the teacher. Um I don't think you need to bring the apple to the teacher, but I think the apple will come to you, okay? <laughs> Just have to say. So you have a tooth here. So maybe you need to um, look into if there is a problem with your teeth. Uh, you might also, if you're someone who stresses a lot, you know that high blood pressure will, will uh, uh, kind of destroy your gums. If you stress, it might be bleeding from the teeth and look into that. But it, for, I'm also hearing like pulling teeth. Okay, so this situation with whatever stubborn personality them, this might be, it might be like you feel like it's like pulling teeth to get through to them. They don't listen. <laughs> so that was just something I heard. So that might be the situation. And, and then again, you know, you can't do anything about it anyway. So just leave it. Just step, take a step back. Don't do anything about it because the change will come to you. You are divinely guided. You know, you just step into your power and prioritize you and just let that be because that's an energy you don't want to play in anyways. And that's an energy that's unchangeable if it's like pulling teeth, you know, just <laughs> leave it be. It's not worth it. <laughs> okay. So that's kind of what I have for you. Number one, I hope this made sense. I hope you liked the reading. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I'm wishing you a beautiful week. Until the next time I see you. Bye. Okay, number two. So if you pick the tarot, then this is your reading. So this is a tarot deck made by Sarah Bartlett. Quite a unique deck. I haven't used it in a while. It's recently in a couple of readings. It's fun. So let's see where we go this week. What energies you might bump up against this coming week, number two. And spirits advice on how to maneuver. Those were too many. Uh, what happened here? Something that just flipped on over. Yep. One flip over. I have to take that. Okay. Okay, so let's pull the others. So Six of Swords is where we move away from what no longer serves us. And we move into something better. Trust, the Fool, New Beginning. Ace of Swords, beautiful. New Information, Victory. You have the Strength, beautiful. Strength card. Ah, the Three of Swords, something might have been uh, hurtful for you. And the Two of Cups. Okay, underneath, Nine of Cups. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have to address the obvious here. <laughs> First of all, the Fool together with the Three of Swords. So there might have been a situation for some of you 
where you uh, stepped into something without really thinking it through, without looking ahead. You just stepped into it and you just took a chance and that was it. And you, you ended up hurt. That might be a situation for some of you. And also since it's next to the Two of Cups, which is about a relationship, you know, that kind of strengthens, strengthens uh, my belief that there had to be uh, a situation with someone else. Uh, so it can also, of course, the fool can also be an invitation from spirit to trust, okay? To trust that things will be better or things will turn around for you. Because all the other cards here are quite positive cards. It's just that this hurt card is kind of smack in the middle here. But you have the Six of Swords, which is telling me the invitation to move away from it. Move away from... Um, the hurt move, I mean, the hurt is the hurt. You have to feel it through if you need to feel it through, if it's still present in your life. But can you, if there's someone who is hurting you over and over, can you move away from that person? Or the energy, if there's an energy that you're bumping up against that is hurtful to you, can you choose to not have that energy in your life anymore? Okay, so, so that's kind of a question for you. Because the, the strength card here is kind of inviting you to step into that strength where you have the strength to move away from something. So maybe you have to move away from a person, a situation, a project, you know, a work-related thing, um, you know feel into where that is for you, there's there's a truth here that needs to be had. So there's an opportunity to see things for what it truly is. The nine of cups over here is where you have the personal abundance and, and your bliss, you know, and your happiness. So it's like, are you aiming for that? Are you having that in your, in your uh, view field? Are you focusing on your own happiness and, and abundance? Or are you too much giving uh, in a situation or giving your energy into something that is actually not good for you here is what I would ask you okay so the strength to move away from something that hurt you okay the strength to maybe also move away from for some of you it might be an invitation to move away from um being in lack of another word naive uh, because when when we have the fool and the three of swords together it's like we keep stepping into a situation that's hurtful and and people can of course view that as being naive but what it can be is kind of an addiction to something or someone that you, you feel like you can, but I can't let that person go or I can't let this go I have invested in this I can't let it go I, I, it's troublesome for me to let go of this so for me, this is an, a huge invitation to have the strength to actually step away from that energy that's hurting you, okay? And the energy that's hurting you might also be your own ego dragging you back into a situation. Can you step away from that now? Can you tell ego that, listen, I understand where you're coming from here. I understand that this is something that I've been used to, you know, I've always done it this, this way and that person has always been in my life. Maybe it's family, you know, stuff like that. But then you have to say, but I cannot go down that road anymore because it keeps on hurting me, okay? So that's important. I do feel like it is a sort of a relationship it's, that we're talking about. It might be a love relationship, friendship, family, work-related, you know, but there's a relationship in any way, shape, or form, I feel, for most of you, that this is about. It is about seeing the truth for what it is as well here, Okay? You need to focus on you. Let's see underneath here. The Queen of Wands. She's also very connected with the spiritual realm. So are you listening to spirit now? Are you listening to your spirit team regarding this situation? What is best for you? Are you listening to your higher self? Are you truly following what it is that you truly want in life? Just a question number two. So let us look at some oracle cards before we do uh, charms. Oh, one that just put uh, hopped on out here. Put your creative energy into action. Archangel Gabriel joins me to spark your creativity. Help you communicate your vision and motivate you to create something beautiful. So again, focusing on what it is that you want. Put your creative energy into action. How can you create this for yourself? Okay? Pray from the heart. Prayer really can move mountains. Reach out to the divine with your heart's concerns and watch miracles unfold. So with that, they might also say, okay, tell them what it is that you truly want. 
you know, that's my goal. This is where I want to be. Ask them for help and then allow them to take action. But when you do that, then you have to stop taking the action and actually allowing them to do it. Because if you keep, if you ask them to step in and do it, and then you keep doing stuff, then you're coming in your own way. You're coming in the way of them actually per performing this miracle. So if you ask them to intervene, if you ask them to help you here, then allow them to and just follow their guidance. Make a decision. Are you choosing to prioritize yourself or another in this situation? You cannot make this up, people. Accept divine guidance pointing you towards your own joy. You deserve it. There you go. So you have to decide to move away from what no longer serves you, to focus on what it is that you want. Prioritize yourself instead of another. Accept the divine guidance pointing you towards your own joy. You deserve it. Underneath you have open up to your spiritual gifts. Remember that your true natural is spiritual, not physical. The angels are sending you messages to guide you on your soul's growth. So again, they're asking you to listen. Are you listening to what they're guiding you to do? Are you listening to your own heart, to your own uh, personal um, feelings? You know, your heart. Are you listening? Let's pull some charms. Okay, so you have a little shoe here, and it's almost like a baby shoe. So, of course, it might be uh, children involved here, or, or you might be the child uh, with a mother, you know, um, and this might be regarding a mother who, you know, who knows. But this might also be significant for the baby shoe. It can also be significant for you... Um, you, you, a new project or a new way of living or the creative thing that you are creating for you is kind of your baby, you know, if you will. And you are stepping into that now. You're starting up this new, the full, the new beginning, right? You have a heart. So that's an angel message for you. They love you. They're with you. And also an invitation for you to follow your heart again. You have a deer here, and it's, which is leaping. So taking action, but also the deer for me is a very fragile, very gentle animal. So are you being gentle with yourself? Are you um, following your own bliss? Are you, as I said, again, you need to move away from this energy that's hurting you, okay? And you also have a bone here. So I feel like someone is going to throw you a bone here. Uh, it might be somebody around you that can help you in this situation. It might be that this is God or uh, your angels or your spirit team that's going to kind of throw you a bone here. So be open for receiving help from, from places where you never knew that you were going to get help from, okay? If you if you dare to be open and, and, and follow your heart and be open with your heart, then maybe if you tell someone that they're going to say, but listen, I can help you with that, you know, you never know. So I feel like the bone here is someone is going to throw you a bone, Okay. So that's all I had for you, number two. Hope this made sense. Wishing you a beautiful week. Till the next time I see you. Bye. Okay, number three. So if you pick the okay tarot, then this is your reading. So let us shuffle and we will choose six cards as we always do in the weekly. So let's see where we go. Let's see where we go here. I hope you're doing well, number three. Let us see what kind of energies you might bump up against this coming week. And spirits advice on how to maneuver those energies. Let's see, you got the king of cups. And the Seven of Cups. You have the Devil card here. The Knight of Swords. The Nine of Wands. And the Justice. Uh huh. Underneath the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, let's address the devil energy here first. I mean, the devil energy can be ego. It's very often ego. It can be your ego. It can be other people's ego uh, coming in your way. Um, so it's it's about something about n the need for justice, the, the need for being right, maybe. Maybe there's you who feel the need for being right or another person who feel the need for being right, uh, looking for justice, looking for balance, you know. Um the nine of wands is where we have been wounded. It's kind of the wounded healer. Uh, but we're also, it's also a card where we have been through a lot, but we're still standing kind of. So it all depends on how you're looking at it. Seven of cups is options, but it's a choice. And some of the choices can be positive. Some of the choices are negative. So for me, it's about where do you have your focus? How do you choose to view this? Okay. Uh, so it's very much in your own viewpoint. It's very much how can you shift maybe your point of view here. You have the King of Cups together with the Knight of Swords. The King of Cups can be a representative of masculine energy in a water sign. It can be you, can be somebody else. Uh, and if it's not that, then it, it is uh, the energy of a stable male uh, or stable masculine energy. As someone who's loving, loving towards themselves, loving towards others, who is kind of stable in their emotional life. But underneath here, you have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is, can be the card of drama. It can be the card of someone coming in with a, a, opinion, a very opinionated, very strong opinions, very strong emotions. Um, it can also be where we cut away someone that comes in and cuts away cords. Uh, cuts away things we don't need. It can be a symbol for Archangel Michael coming in to cut cords. You know, take that as it resonates with you. You have the Wheel of Fortune over here underneath. Oh, the star. Wow. And the Knight of Wands. That, so that's very good news underneath here. So with that, I would say that there's a potential for this to tip in your favor. Okay. But I do feel that there is some sort of egocentric energy here. Very ego, uh, not egocentric, ego energy uh, around you. Um... And it is, it is, it has been hurting you before, at least. I'm not sure it's hurting you anymore, um, but it has been hurting you before, at least. And how are you viewing that? How, how do you look upon what happened to you now, once you've gone through it, once you've come to the other side? It might have been that you've been in a situation where you feel like you had not been treated the way you wanted to, or something has been um, not fair, uh, and there has been some drama around that. That might have been a situation for you. And you have been seeking justice. But the thing is that if your ego keeps on seeking the justice, you will never get out of the situation. And that's, of course, if there's an other person who thinks the same way, then you will never get, agree. You will never go anywhere. So the King of Cups invites us to get into the heart, invites us to find that stable emotions within us, to focus on what it is that's working instead of focusing on what's not working. And that might shift the energies here. And then it might tip in your favor because there's potential underneath here with the Star card and the Knight of Wands, which is passion. You know, um, it can also be new ideas and a new energy coming in. So the Wheel of Fortune can, of course, also be the Destiny card, meaning this was all kind of meant to happen, maybe to shift you into something better, maybe to shift the energies a little bit. Maybe it was in need of being shook up a little bit to shake you out of, because this can also be either you or another person stuck in um, the energy of victimhood, just to have that said, because when the devil and the nine of wands come together, it can be the energy of victimhood here feeling like the victim all the time, feeling like I should have gotten that justice, you know, and then that creates drama again. And then you're kind of back in that thing, right? So it can be you and it can be somebody else, you know, take that as it resonates. But I do feel like there is a huge potential for you to, to um, gain your balance, stepping into love here and for this to tip in your favor. But let's look at some uh, Oracle cards as well before we draw some charms for you, number three. What? One that just flew on out. Recognize the signs from above. Angels are sending you messages now, but you're too distracted to notice. Stay alert and open to divine guidance. Yeah, if you're stuck in the ego energy or if there's somebody coming into your life with drama, yeah, of course it's difficult to listen to the divine. Uh, <laughs> you know, we get dragged into the 3D life and, and it's very difficult to be in alignment with who we truly are. So, you know, don't blame yourself for that. That, that happens to everybody. 
but they are asking you to recognize signs to listen to them. Okay, they, they, they've got your back and they want to help. And you have, be the real you. Your greatest power comes from being who you truly are. Don't let anyone sway you from expressing your authentic self. So standing strong in, in, and truthfully in who you are and standing strong, uh, standing up for your belief. Um, but with love, though, I, I, I feel like it comes back to you have to open up your heart and, and not go down the ego path here. Okay. And one more card here. Make a decision. Are you choosing to prioritize yourself or another in this situation? Accept divine guidance pointing you towards your own joy. You deserve it. So making the decision to what are you going to listen to? Where are you going to focus? Are you going to keep on going down the route of ego telling you that you should have won this? You should have, you know, this person is and so on. Or are you choosing to go into your heart space saying, okay, that happened. I got wounded. I know. But you know what? I need to start focusing on something else now. I need to start focusing on me. I need to prioritize myself. I need to be the truthful me. I need to connect with spirit. I need to step out of this energy now. And that might, of course, be an invitation for the other person as well uh, to step out of this energy. You know, this ego energy can be somebody else, but you can't really tell them to. They have to find that out by themselves. You know, it's it, it's... It's not up to us to tell other people to, to stop listening to ego. <laughs> they kind of have to figure that out themselves. Underneath, you have put your creativity energy, the creative energy into action. Archangel Gabriel joins me to spark your creativity, help you to communicate your vision and motivate you to create something beautiful. Yeah. So stepping into that energy instead, to the creative energy, to the loving energy and leaving this drama behind. Do not let ego uh, take you down a path here uh, that's not going to bring you joy. Okay. Marie Kondo all over again. <laughs> Does it spark joy? You know? Okay. Let's pull some charms for you here. Okay, so you have this trolley thing here. That's actually part of a train. So it might need something that needs to be uh, transported from one place to another. Uh, it might be a, a train ride. So it might be travel uh, for you this coming week. Uh, take that as it resonates. Now, you do have a grumpy cat here. <laughs> Somebody is really stuck in this energy here. That's funny. Uh, okay, so that might be you or there might be the other person. Uh, somebody's really grumpy around you. Ah, oh, freedom. Beautiful. So there is freedom to be had in all of this. So you can step away from it. Now you have a little gem here. So maybe an invitation to put on the nice stuff and have some fun. You also have the whale's tail here. So it might be that you're drawn to ocean, drawn to water, or the need to be in water, rinse with water, or maybe an invitation to dive deep into something. Okay. You also have, uh, this is a gingerbread cookie. So it might be something that happened around Christmas that is still kind of lingering on. It might be something being resolved before the next Christmas. It might be something about baking, maybe something about um, making some good food for yourself, you know, baking for yourself or making a beautiful salad or a beautiful dinner, putting some love into the food that you put in you as well, kind of indulging yourself a little bit, prioritizing yourself and your own happiness a little bit. And, you know, just, just, you know, pouring yourself a beautiful cup of coffee or a little pastry or making yourself a beautiful salad and just sit in silent and eat some good food might just be in itself a shift in your energies. You know, those kind of things. Be gentle with yourself. Stepping into this King of Cups here where you follow your heart and be truly gentle and loving with yourself and others, you know. So... Yeah, I feel like that was it, number three. I hope this made sense for you. I hope you liked the reading. I'm wishing you a beautiful week wherever you are in the world. Until the next time I see you.